and welcome to Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses, the podcast where you will discover all the latest and greatest digital marketing tools, tips, and strategies you will need to implement in order to stay ahead of your competition. If you are not getting the results you are looking for from your digital marketing efforts, this is the podcast for you. And now, here's the host of our show, the local business guy himself, Frank Deming. Hello, 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 everyone. Good day. And welcome to this episode of Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses. This is Frank Deming, the local business guy. And um, I just want to say you guys are in for a treat today because I am going to try to motivate you. I um, mean, I know it's very difficult in these times. I mean, things are getting late. I mean, we're already we're already May eighth, two thousand twenty, and the businesses are shut down. We've had to pivot. We've had to reinvent ourselves. I have had a plethora of guests uh, to help you come through this. And this post is all about staying top of mind. Um, but you know. And the way, the best way that I've seen that people can stay top of mind is by continuing to blog. So I'm going to have 10 reasons why your business should be blogging, um, and especially in this type of environment that we're living in right now where we're all staying at home. And I mean, yeah, we're, 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 we're coming, I'm, I'm feeling that we're coming towards the end of this and, um, you know, I'm I'm not, I'm just, it's just, I'm noticing more people in the street, there's more, more happy faces, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm thinking that, you know, and plus what I'm hearing in the news as well, that we're about to turn something um, cool here now. But here's what you need to do, though. I mean, I'm hoping that we were staying top of mind. Um, one of the ways you can do that is... Um, with, with social media, of course, but I'm here to talk to you about blogging, and that, that I, and I feel one of the reasons why I chose this topic uh, for now is that I feel that blogging has been a forgotten art, especially in the small business world. Um, you know, so bottom line is we need to be blogging. So if you're a business owner and you, you know, no doubt have some you know, have come across uh, the idea of starting a business blog, you know, I mean, I, I know it's come across you. I, I, you no doubt have started, at least thought about it. Uh, uh, but, but you know, you're probably not sure that if it's worth your time and effort. I, I know a lot of times people feel, hey, blogging is a dead art because social media has everything. Um, but, you know, let's let's talk about some strategies that you can use to make sure that blogging is not a dead art and that it is important and people you do have a voice. It's important that you do stay current. Okay, so I'm gonna give you ten reasons why. All right, so number one, a blog, as I said earlier, helps you build brand awareness and credibility. So you have to, especially now, folks, you we, we have to start building um, brand awareness. Um, and <clears throat> when you build brand awareness, in my experience, is that you build credibility. Okay. When you and your team write about the issues, problems, and solutions that your customers or even your potential customers are searching for, you show yourself to be an expert in your field. That is very key, especially now because People are home now and people are reading more. People are looking for other things and they're looking for outlets. Um, So, yes, they're reading about the coronavirus. They're reading about this pandemic and when we're going to go back to work. But sometimes they're looking for an outlet to say, um, you know, I'm just tired of let let me read something positive. And that's when they can come across your blog and now they're actually going to read it. so, but by practicing this on a consistent basis, this inevitably leads to your customer base that they will trust you. And when they're ready to do business with you, as long as you're top of mind and you stay consistent, they will call you and not your competitor. 
<clears throat> because I can I can assure you folks that your competitor is also um, <clears throat> is doing this, you know, because if, if they're if they're in today's marketplace, they're doing it. So that's number one. Number two is uh, a blog brings more traffic to your site. Give me one second. Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. I woke up with a frog, frog in my throat this morning. I can't get seem to get rid of it. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, number two, a a blog brings more traffic to your site. So according to HubSpot, now I'm, I, I think a lot of you um, who are my audience understand who HubSpot is. See, if you have a blog, you can expect 55% more website traffic than a business that doesn't have a blog. Um, there's an article that they wrote that I, I can share with you guys if you want to see it. And I'll put that on the... Um, I'll put that on the on the um, show notes so so you guys can actually see this uh, this article that they wrote. Um, now a lot of people say, "But why?" You know, see, people say, "Well, why? How, how is that? Why? Why does that? And where does HubSpot get this um, information from?" Well, because people need information, guidance, and help, and and your blog can be the you know can be where they get it. See. The consumer base now is an educated consumer base. There's no longer people buying stuff just to buy it. Um, as a matter of fact, studies show that even though you get recommended by a friend, people still look you up. And if you have a blog, it's even better because they can see what you write about. They can see what kind of content you put out. They can see if the stuff that you put out is actually going to help them. And, and this is a non-emergency case, of course, Okay. So that's number two. Number three is blogs help with prospecting. Um, the more you can do with the more <laughs> the, the less work you have to do to prospect people, the better. So if you can push out information and that information educates your audience and your prospect themselves convince themselves that they are a prospect, not you're saying, hey, you're, you're Mr. Prospect. You're 50% the way there. You know, so basically, if you want to generate more leads, a blog can help you do that. Okay. Um, see, when a potential customer views a blog post, you can simultaneously offer a deal or a discount and ask their um, email address, you know, so you kind of have you, you can also use your your blog like a lead generator, you know, ask for your email address. You know, if you like this, put your email address and you can get this free offer and, you know, mention this blog post or something like that. But what you're doing is you're prospecting. And that's the important thing. And it takes a lot of load off of you when they do call you or when you do contact them because they gave you your email address. So that's very important that you, if you use your blog effectively, okay? Number four, if blogs are great to add to your social media marketing. So a lot of times to get more and more eyeballs on it, you know, uh, connect it on your LinkedIn, connect it on your Facebook, um, connect it on your Twitter, Whatever your favorite social platform is, connect your blog to it so that people can read your articles. Um, and again, this is also prospecting. Make sure that, you're, that, 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 that your blog is something that it's relevant to today's market, relevant to what your business is all about, relevant to, you know, don't, don't use a, bra, a blog as a, as, a, as a bragging platform. That's a mistake. That would be a huge mistake. And I, and I see that a lot. Well, I don't want to say a lot, but enough times to be disturbing. You know, don't, that's not the place where you want to get bragged on you. The key thing is maybe have someone brag about you on their blog and point back to you. That's an idea, but not on your blog. Your blog, you want to give information, tips, 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 tricks, tools, you know, events that you're attending, just information keeping you top of mind of your audience. That's all that's all that blog is for. Number 5, 
Uh, blogs are great for SEO. Um, I'm a huge SEO fan, as you guys know. I mean, we 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 <laughs> that's that's one of our um, I want to say our f- foundation products, if you will. Um, we started out as a website development company and then right from website development we started offering seo so it's one of our foundation uh products and i believe in seo it's changed it's very uh it's a lot more competitive now it's very difficult now to rank but one thing that has not changed about seo is that our blog is powerful for it so you know when people are searching for a product or service um that you can provide you 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 know, you want your website to rank high. Um, and But the easiest way to do that is by consistently placing new content on your blog. So, you know, yes, they land on your blog and not on your regular page, but you're, it's, it's connected. So they'll start investigating you and, and start seeing more information about your services, et cetera, et cetera. So you got to make sure that you interconnect. Maybe at some point I'll write a, I will have a best practices of how to structure your blog um, so that you can get the right visibility. Um, but um, but for, this, for now, I just want to give you some 10 cool ideas on why um, your business should be blogging because I, I, again, like I said in the beginning, I get a lot of times people who say, well, Frank, this is a waste of time. These 10 ideas are going to tell you why this is not a waste of time. Okay. So now we're halfway through there. Number six is a blog keeps your audience engaged with your business. So, there's a thing in in uh, website traffic um, lingo called stick value. Does in other words, does your content make people stick? So here's the rule of thumb: if you can get the average visitor of your ideal customer to stay on your page for four to f- six minutes on average you've got pretty much a great audience okay so here's what i mean um that's the stick factor so so you want to make sure um that your blog gives them information that they're looking for so this goes back to keyword research. And again, I, 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 at some point, I'll give you a, a distinct, a very detailed um, episode on blogging um, and some best practices. But, but but pay attention here for a minute. And I hope you can grab a pen. You, you The way to keep them engaged is usually through your blog. Because let's say they type... Um, let me see. They, 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 you know, they, they, they type a service that they're looking for that you provide, and they land on that services page. Yeah, you got their intention, but they're not sticking. But if you can somehow, somehow, intertwine that keyword, and then you the first thing that they came in is your blog. Now they have to read this thing because this blog. This post that you just put on your blog that they found is educating them, increases your stick factor, and it also is establishing that you're an expert in what uh, and what you're talking about and what you're uh, what you're selling or what you're you're helping your your crowd with, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's important. Okay, so number six is a, is a, is a, is a key thing here. So seven, a blog helps you increase backlinks to your website. Now, backlinks is a very important thing. Um, when you when when you write on topics that that are highly sorted, um, you're gonna increase the amount of people who are linking back to you. It's basically a hyperlink that other sites post. 
in their own content that brings the user back to your site. So if a blog content is interesting, engaging, and helpful, other website content will link back to it. And they do this automatically. Some of them will ask for permission. Some of them will just, just do it. Um, so it increases your rank when you when when I, when, I, when enough people do that, it just increases your rank. And it happens. Um, the word I like to use is auto magically. Um, anyway, it, it but it also means that more potential customers will click and and find those links to your website. So that's that's the key thing with the backlinks. Okay, so that's that's important. Number eight, a blog provides an opportunity for you to educate your readers. Um, I, I, you know, I, I say this a lot, guys. Consumers are just a lot brighter now. <laughs> I don't want to say that they were they were done before, but it, it, it never before in time has it been so easy to get information. Never before in time has it been so simple to really and truly um, educate yourself before making a buying decision. So give them what they're looking for. They're looking for information. They're looking to see, is it you that's going to solve my problem? Don't make it hard for them. Have a blog. Because when they research and they find you, and your blog answers all the questions that they have in their head already, you're in like Flint, okay? So educate your readers. That's what they're looking for. This is a very, very highly competitive market, folks. And people are educating themselves before they're making any kind of buying decisions. So give them what they want, and that's information, Don't be skimpy on that stuff, guys. Very, very important. So number nine, blogs are a low-cost way to engage your customers. When you do this correctly, you probably, I mean, yes, you want to share your blog on social media and all that stuff, right? And now with, with social media the way it is, you basically have to almost pay to get that traffic, but you're not paying a lot of money to get that traffic. But when you do this correctly with the proper keyword research, you can write a blog post. Excuse me. You can write a blog post to have people coming over and over and over again and them sharing it to their friends without you even asking. But it's all about the right keyword research. I think I I did um, have a yeah, I did have a, a podcast. Maybe you should look look for it on my page here uh, on keyword research because that's important all the time. That's very important to have the right keyword research because that's how they're going to find you. OK, um, and if you can do that, I mean, you're, you're, you're talking about a low cost way, very low cost way to engage with your with your customers. You don't have to pay for, you know, they put a Facebook ad to to drive people to your blog. You don't have to. You, I mean, yes, that's the fast way of doing it. But if you have the right keyword research, uh, you, you can do it this way as well. Okay, so that's very important. So number 10, last but not least, blogs help you connect and converse with customers. A lot of people are using social media to do this. Okay. Um, And you can, but here's the deal. You can't control social media. If something happens tomorrow, okay, I'll give you an example. And this is, you know, pretty relevant because no one, say five years ago, forget about five years ago, a year ago, a year ago today, if someone were to say, we're going to be on on lockdown, for the next, you know, eight months or whatever, however long this thing is going to ha- land happen, you would have looked at them like you're crazy. What are you talking about? What lockdown? What are you? No one knew that a virus <laughs> can actually shut down the world. 
So here's my point with that. You never people say, well, why why am I going to be conversing and connecting with my customers on my blog? Why am I going to worry about that if I have, you know, Facebook, I got social media. You don't know if that's going to go away. You know, and when one would argue, well, there's another platform coming to do that. And probably that's the case, but that's not the point. You know, you can control your blog. Okay, you know, it doesn't go away unless you say it's going away. Whereas social media, it can go away tomorrow and now you're ho. So you, you want to make sure that you can you you're in a controlled environment to communicate with your customers. So I always engage people with that. I said, no, no, no. Bring them into your into your home. You want to have home field advantage. Um, and, and do that. So that's it, folks. Those are the 10. I'm going to recap these 10 one more time. So that way we're, we're, we're all on the same page as to what they are. So these are the 10 reasons why you, you know, your business should be blogging. Okay. And you, it doesn't have to be you. If you're the business owner, get, get someone on your staff to do it, or even outsource it to a, to a, to a digital marketing agency, but it's gotta be done. Number one, a blog helps you build brand awareness. Very important that you are that your brand is out there speaking and doing its marketing for you, especially now that people are stay at home because they're going to remember you because you're always in front of them. Number two, a blog brings more traffic to your website. Enough said there. Number three, blogs help with prospecting. Number four, blogs uh, are great to add to your social media marketing. Number five, blogs are great for SEO. We know that. Number six, a blog keeps your audience engaged with your business. Powerful stuff. Number seven, a blog keeps you, uh, uh, helps you increase your backlinks to your website. And we talked a little bit about that, but I'd love to have another extension on that. Number eight, a blog provides an opportunity for you to educate your readers. Number nine, blogs are low cost way to engage with customers. And last but definitely not least, number 10, blogs help you connect and converse with customers. So there you have it, folks. This is this this has been this episode of marketing solutions for local businesses. The most important thing you can do right now, folks, is you got to implement these things. I enjoy this. I love doing. Um, I love giving out key content that's going to help you. But I can't, you know, I can't hold your hand and do it. I want you guys to go out there and do it. I want you guys to go out there and get in and, and, and get a result from it. And if you can call me with those results, I would love that too. So, um, and if you have, if you need any help with it, of course, you know, I own and operate a digital marketing agency. You guys can call me. You guys can try to interact with me. If you guys want us to take a look at anything that you may have problems with, or you, you've, you've been told something through a lunch and learn that you don't believe, feel free to reach out to us. All of my links are in the show notes, so you can reach out for us there. Uh, But if you just want to send me an email, that's fine, too. That's info at lbmsllc.com. So until next week, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And um, I, I guess you guys, you know, take care. Stay safe out there, folks. Take care and bye for now. Thanks for listening to another episode of Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses, the podcast where you will discover all the latest and greatest digital marketing tools, tips, and strategies you will need to implement in order to stay ahead of your competition. Don't forget, any links that were mentioned during the broadcast will be available to you in the show notes, so be sure to grab them while you have the chance. Incidentally, if you have any topics that you would like for us to discuss on the show, be sure to send an email to the email provided in the show notes or click the contact us link and let us know what topic you would like us to help you with. 
and we'll be sure to add it to our schedule. If you would like for Frank and his team to look at your digital marketing presence and give you a free evaluation, simply click the request a free consultation link in the show notes to get a hold of them. That being said, until our next episode, make it a successful digital marketing day. Peace out.